All right. Okay. So hopefully everyone's back. Refresh if you haven't already. But if you haven't refreshed, you wouldn't have heard me say, tell you to refresh. You wore the waffle iron. Okay, so this is the, so like I said, I already unboxed it. Oh, I don't want to show my address and who the sender is. Well, I guess you can kind of see, you, you'll figure out who the sender is, but, and I wasn't sure what I received. That's why I just, I took one picture just to tell the guy who sent it to me who it, what it, you know, what they sent me. But. So I know pretty much nothing about this board. I really don't. So if I say anything wrong and the makers are out there, the designers are like, Oh my God, there's so much misinformation. Well, that's your fucking job now, right? Uh, you, should, you should tell us more about it. But yeah, so I know nothing about it. Person who sent it to me told me that I could show it, but he didn't tell me anything after that. He just told me, well, I'm going to send you something and you just show it. That's it. So... I thought this was the box that was going to be for this fight for the big stream, but that's not going to happen because apparently this was not the box. I was just mistaken. So Anthony's going to have ban himself for several dogs. <laughs> okay. So let's see what it is. So first impressions, when I took the board, I'm like, man, this does not look like a top secret unboxing, right? It's not very, <laughs> to, be, to be completely honest, it's not very well packed. And you can see just random bits of packed peanuts. Anything important in there? Yeah, so again, I won't be able to tell you too much about it. Also, is this too dark? Uh, say, Deagle Ness, thanks for the follow. Is this D Deagle? Is this better? Or is this better? A or B? Hey, what's up, Deagle? You like B, so you like the darker one, right? This peanuts are recycled. GMK caps room my box switches. <laughs> okay. All right. So C is you guys seen the board. Okay. So let's check out the packaging, right? Super ultra uh, premium extreme packaging. So that's why I thought, you know, this is going to be whatever. Yeah, hey, maybe we should run a DNA test on the hair. Or a sniff test. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, and so like I said, you know, packing peanuts is stuck under the, the tape. Ooh, you can hear that. Can you hear that? Yeah, so it most likely is factory packaging. Which is why I said, I don't, I mean, I've never seen this board before. When I opened it, I was like, what the fuck is this thing? Because, yeah, i had never seen this thing before. Uh, maybe some of you have. If you have, let me know, and let me know where you saw it. Because I want to I want in on that. Zoology, okay, where is, where is Zim? Is he still here? Where the hell is he? Tape on the outside plebs. <laughs> okay. So, I have to be pretty careful with the knife too. I don't want to accidentally cut the thing. So, let's...
So this is about as new to me as it is for you guys. Tape off on all sides. And yes, hey brother, yeah. So like I said, I unboxed it. Kind of freaked out a bit because I didn't recognize what it was. I took a picture just to ask the guy what it is, and then I immediately, and I actually haven't heard back. So, and yeah, so I just packed it back up. But from an earlier email, I said that I could show this off. He just didn't tell me anything other than I could show it off. If there's a fucking ant pro, hey. Damn man, I can't even I can't even lie on the internet. It sucks. It was on Keep Talk, which is why Anthony never saw it before. <laughs> Truth be told, I have not clicked on that website ever since the initial announcement. Why not TKL Micro Center? Oh yes. Okay. Ah <laughs> oh, shit, now I wish I had an N Pro. Okay, so. So, what can you say so far? So apparently today is the Tanvin Red Hawk IQ review. Bad news caps is here too. What's up? And for those who don't know, Bad News Caps makes artisan keycaps. If you don't know who he is, check out his Instagram. If he wants to post his link or someone else wants to do it, that'd be nice. Yeah, so yeah, what the hell is it, right? I, I, I should probably bring a desk mat out just to, just so I don't damage anything. Just to be super extra safe. Okay, silver, what helps with silver? Let's use one of the, you know? Well, I guess it's, is it even silver? It's, it's a light gray instead of a silver, right? Okay, maybe, yeah, light gray. No, I don't want this one, what the fuck? Is this the unveiling Anthony the KB fan sponsor? <laughs> Man, if I can sponsor KB fans, that'd be huge. All TKLs look the same. <laughs> All right. Hey, Andrew B is here. What's up? Okay. Do we want to zoom in or do we want to zoom in later for dramatic effect? Man, I kind of hate that. No. 
I'm not. It's not an ad. What the fuck? Yeah, see, so the thing that threw me off is nothing here. The bald front. Because when I saw the label and I remember the email, I thought it was going to be that, which I'm sure it is sort of. I don't know. We'll see. But it doesn't have that, which makes it peculiar. It has... Support for ISO, so probably not one of Wilba's new, you probably won't be using a Wilba PCB, am I right? It's an aluminum plate, top mount, we can, we can take it apart later. Yeah, so you can see it's, I wouldn't even call it silver because the plate would be silver and this would be a light gray. I, li I like it. I like light gray. I'm all about grays. You know, all 50 shades of them. Okay, so... And what else can we see? Okay, we can see screws coming out from underneath. Alright, look at that. Yeah, so no status indicator LEDs, or dedicated ones from what we can tell. And it uses a standard TKL layout, right? 0.5, uh, 1U, 0.5.5, and 0.25 over here. So the big review, the big review. Check this is very clean. Nothing that stands out from this angle at all. Yup. Okay. The big review. The big review. The big review. So this is the side. Here it is. It looks like an LZ to me. Yeah, or an XD84, an XD64, right? Or is it actually an LZCLSM? Yeah, an LZCLS. Zamba one says Jane. Okay, let's see. <laughs> Our stones is here. <laughs> okay, so Zoology says Salamander. It's actually the chameleon. Not a Jane. See, so yeah, so no branding to be seen, right? Look at that. No branding at all. So what the fuck is this thing? Good matching color though. Yeah, I would say that, right, actually, yeah. I mean, I didn't notice it, you know, I haven't actually looked at this in detail. So, yes, actually. And man, I really like this color, holy shit. Yeah, so it's not silver, it's not dark gray, it's just light gray. I really like this. If this was a fuck up, they were trying to do silver or dark gray, I really like this color. So it's got a dark spot over here, I don't know if I can rub it off. And of course, you know how I feel about 
Or maybe, oh, never mind, it's just, I think it's just the shadows. Never mind, there wasn't a dark spot. Just the light, the two bright lights shining, and then it's got one dark spot, see? So, if it moves, then that's fine. Alright. Okay, so let's see more of it. Oh, shit. I wonder if it's actually polished underneath. So you guys know how I feel about seams. Not a not a fan of seams in general. I said not seams in general, but seams that are just cut like that, right? Just a half throughout. I think that most of the time you could try to incorporate it into the design, but I understand this is the simplest way of doing it. And you can see the seams, although simple, are decently done, I'd say. Right? The gap is not too obvious not too obvious i'm not saying it's invisible but it's still not as good as the the otd scenes on that corsa that i unboxed a few months ago that one oh god what is this oh wait oh it's just plastic caught between the two pieces all right so again this color i really like okay let's look at the anodizing say decent it goes it tries to go for a smoother finish not a textured finish that's for sure so you can see it's got chamfers over here in the bottom yeah so what could this be in a left side USB Okay, see, so now you can see that the top and bottom stone match perfectly. You can see that the, the top is shinier than the bottom, right? Well, but it's still still pretty good. One of the better matches, sort of. But yeah, see, overall, the, the, the top is just shinier. Okay. Top and bottom piece should be aligned better. I think I think I can because it sticks out a lot on the left side or right side. So I think if I unscrew it and try to align it, it should be better. But we can find out. Okay, so now for the big reveal. The big reveal. The big reveal. We're gonna we're gonna press it again. All right, prepare yourselves. All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. She All right, we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. So, you guys tell me. Let's let's zoom in, shall we? Or zoom out? Oh, look at that. So, very glorious. It has a sandblasted brass weight. And if you are familiar with some high-end boards, you might recognize... The way the weight is done. Right. What other board has a sandblasted brass weight? <laughs> Chair when I made this. Yes, Mattel. Yes, it is. I guess the Pearl as well, right? But nah. The Pearl one is unfinished though I think this one is coated I believe if not then whoops
Now the judge is here too. Alright, so what do you guys think it is? So that's the logo. So for those of you wondering if Type Machina is alive, a lot of people are written off as dead. It's very much alive. It's actually coming to life. Yeah, so this the label says TGR. The email that was sent to me said Jane, but it does not look like the Janes that we know of. The Jane that I know is a brunette that wears a yellow dress. But, yeah, because... When I got this, I really quickly looked at the TGR Jane, the original one, and then the Jane CE. And so the weird part is, yeah, it actually doesn't share too much with the regular Janes. The corners are different. The bezel, from what I remember, the bezels are different too. All right, so the normal TGR has sharper corners. This one, the normal Jane that is, this one has rounded corners, right? Look at that. Yeah, so this was sent to me by Sherry, or Sheraton, of Originative and Type Machina. He's pretty excited about this. It's going to be one of the first boards to run. But yeah, I don't know anything about it though. I don't know the price. I don't know. I'm going to assume it's going to run Boot, boot Mapper because I, I'm pretty sure it's a TGR. So yeah, like I said, at first I thought, okay, yeah, that's what it is. And then I looked at the older Janes. I'm like, it doesn't look like the normal Janes. So, I'm assuming this Jane, this TKL, will be a, an easily distinguishable version of the Jane, maybe? I don't know. I don't know, if, I don't know why they would call it the Jane, though, right? That, that's, that's, that's what I'm curious about. Because it does not look like it's just... You know, Jane of a different badge slap on it. Yeah, the, the dimensions and stuff are a bit are quite different. Double M Mega Man board for sure. Yeah, so as far as I know, this is the first time we're seeing it. I know for sure on camera, it should be the first time we're seeing it. But I haven't, because even when I got this, when I first unboxed it, I had not seen it before. So. I got it. I mean, I, I basically just explained where I got it from and how I got it oh, less than a minute ago. But I got it from Shepton, an originative type machina, and he wanted me to show off the board. He didn't really tell me anything about it. He just said he was going to get someone to send it to me, and that was it. And I have not heard anything about it. Since then, really? And so, I'm afraid I can't even really tell you much because I really don't know either.
Hey, what's up, 60 Life? Yes, there is a weight. So if you look at this, so this is this is the telling part. Because the top, there's no branding. There's no anything. There's no branding on the sides. No anything. Very clean. And so, yeah, that's why I was really curious what it was. And what I did when I first unboxed it, I took a picture, sent it to Sherry, our originative. It's like, uh, I don't know if this was what you wanted to send me. And, and yeah, so... From what I do know, this should be the Type Machina Jane. And again, Type Machina from what it... Definitely what it looks like, right? It's finally happening. It's finally happening. Wow. Hey, Olivia, what's up? Z uh, Zoology, thank you so much. 15th gift sub. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, what's up, Olivia? For those of you who don't know, Olivia is the designer of a GMK set called GMK Olivia. And so, pretty nice set. Uh, what I do regret is I missed out on the desk mats, right? I, I, I really wanted to add that to my desk mat collection. I missed out. That would have been perfect as a streaming background, actually. But yeah, so definitely pretty... Heavy board. So yeah, no PCB in here yet. I don't know what PCB works. I'm gonna assume an Orion PCB works. So what we can do now is I can try to unscrew it. I don't know what I can do with it, right? Cause like I said, Sherry didn't tell me anything. And I don't, I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with it, but. Thank you, thank you, Zoology. Thank you for more gift subs. I really appreciate it. A few good music is here too. Yep, so again, pretty special board. I would say the weight is probably one of the nicest we've seen so far. Very similar. It's like a TGR had sex with a TX board. That's basically what it, and an LZ, like a TGR LZ TX board. The overall cuts look like an LZ CLS. It's made by TGR as far as I know. And you know, it's got stuff like the sandblasted brass that's Kind of a trademark of new TGR boards. And then it's got this big brass weight that's the signature or yeah, the signature of TX boards. I've loved hidden screws, but hey, this is nice. <laughs> Chukai, but then who is are the parents that the three of them had sex? Well, we'll have to find out. Okay, so yeah, we didn't get all the screws, so we got five screws. It took embarrassingly long to count that, but yeah, we got five screws instead of the eight. So, and then like I said, no PCB, so very much a Sneak peek, a very big sneak peek. So yeah, I think if someone looks it up, this is probably gonna be almost the same as a regular Jane plate. So 
so yeah, aluminum plate as he cuts over here yeah cuz doesn't the Jane just follow the Orion and also the The TX84 SE also just does that too. So you could use Liku PCBs, Jane PCBs. They're interchangeable with the Orion. Alright, and so now to check out the weight itself. Because we don't know how thick it is. Now we're going to find out. Yeah, TX84 SE is also a top mount and uses the same TKL PCB and plate layout as the Mira, as the Duck Orion, and as the Jane, from what I know. And Bad News Caps actually has a good spreadsheet that he keeps updated on TKL compatibility. And I helped some as well in putting that thing together. So, let's see. Poop Enthusiast 420. Welcome to the stream. What's a good keycap set for a champagne TX board? Other than Chocolatier, I guess. Other than SA Chocolatier, I'd say... GMK Chocolatier, right Zambumon? Oh shit, this thing has 10 instead of 8. So yeah, so this is not Orion. This is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The Orion has 8. This does not have 8. So this is not standard. Or standard, I guess. Yeah, so that's interesting. It's got 10. So that means this is going to be not going to be compatible with your mirror plate, Dark Orion plate. Oh wow, look at that. The plate was cut a bit weird over here. Isn't it? Hold on, let me look. I mean, I haven't looked at especially in a long time. Hold up, so, wait, so is this, okay, so is the TX84 SE the only one that's not the same? Hold on. Because I still have a lot of plates and PCBs from the Duck, Orion, and Mira, which I haven't looked at in months. Hold up. Okay, so the mirror. Yeah, so is it just the 84 SE that has a different one? Because I know the mirror, the mirror and Doc have interchangeable stuff in Orion. And a Jane, because I built the mirror with duck parts. Yeah, so the 84 SE is the weight. God damn it, is there a better picture?
Wait, what? Hold up. I mean, I guess I could. Okay, so yeah, so the 84 SE has 8 instead of the Orion standard of 10, even though it uses the same, the Liku PCB. Yeah, so, so this thing still shares parts with the, hold on, let me go grab it. Yep, see, so. So basically, like what I said at first, it's the same as the standard Duck Orion, the Jane, the Mira. So this is an FF4 plate. But this one, hold on. This one was made, this FF4 plate was made for the. Snow Pro PCB, so it will not work with the Liku TX, the Liku TKL PCBs, because if you look, the main difference is Oh, whoops, sorry Chewie, yeah. All right, welcome Poop Enthusiast 420 to the full long sub club. Thank you so much Chewie for the gift sub. Yeah, I went away to go grab something from the God drawer. Okay, see, so real quick. See, so this is what happened during the mirror build as well. Remember when I had to swap the plate? Yeah, so this, see the stabilizer cuts are different because the standard one has the wire going in the bottom standard when I say standard I mean the Liku Duck Orion way of doing it it has the wire going in the bottom but the snow pro PCB has the wire going on top or the other way around one of those two yeah Yeah, it's why in the spreadsheet, I actually told Bad News Caps to add that to the spreadsheet. To add the stabilizer orientation. Because the, the Snow Pro PCB has the right shift or enter key. I can't remember which, word, which one it was. I think it was the enter key. The enter and the space bar is reversed compared to the standard Duck Orion. And so that was kind of annoying because if you use the Snow Pro PCB for the Orion, it will not work with the... No. If you use the Snow Pro PC plate, you couldn't use the standard Duck Orion PCB or some shit like that. It worked one way but not the other.
But I think the mirror plates support both. I think it's cut wider. Hoop Enthusiast says, what do you think of the Box Royals? Your wood build there sounds amazing and I'm pretty tempted. Well, right now I'd be, I would be wary of building with box switches for now until we hear back from Novel Keys and Kyle and GMK. I would not make any build plans with box switches. Okay, so we unscrewed the way, let's check it out. And I have to be pretty careful not to damage anything. Okay, so this is the naked bottom. And yeah, it feels a lot lighter when you take the weight out. It's actually insane how different the weight is. I'll just take the weight insert out. All right, yeah, we can bring the kitchen scale. So what's happening is the box switch stems are too thick for GMK, too much girth, and so it's cracking and loosening GMK switch keycaps. Oh, whoops, why am I so dumb? It's not on. Alright, so let's weigh this thing. So the weight itself is 1 pound and 7.5 ounces. 23.46 ounce 665 grams one gram short of being a meme maybe it was intentional let's see so where's the bottom oh gosh So the base is 1246 grams. So the weight is more than 50% as heavy as this one. Nice sandblasted. Look at that. Looks real nice. If you ask me what my favorite finish on brass, it would probably be the Van Man style finish. I'm just kidding. Sandblasted, definitely. The way to go for brass. I'm not a big fan of the whole brush brass look. Yeah, so don't know. I don't know how much it's going to cost. I have no idea. NGB, thank you very much. 245 bits for Spectrum Internet Bill. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, my upload speeds were absolute dog shit the past few days, and I had to get Spectrum to send a person out here today. Came by, checked the my apartment, nothing was wrong. He couldn't figure out what the problem was, so he had to call someone else to go out in, in the field and figure out what's happening. And I'm surprised it got fixed within the same business day. Well, I mean, technically it took two days. But when the guy finally did show up, you know, he contacted the other person and then tra basically transferred the issue to someone else, and then they came by and fixed it in a few hours. So... 
pretty impressive. Though it did take a bit too long to get started. Yeah, but overall not bad. Okay, so we can we can weigh the board without the PCB and stuff too. So just the naked case. Let's do that. And the plate. I wouldn't count on it being as in the way stock works, I wouldn't count on it being, you know, in stock in stock. It's gonna probably gonna run out pretty quick. I would say for those of you who are trying to figure out what's happening if type machina you can keep an eye on this channel maybe I can find out a bit more what's going on I wouldn't expect all of them to come out at the same time. I think that would that would crash the website. Can you imagine the logistics nightmare if they released all at the same time? NGB says, looks nice, I'll never have one. That's all right. What you do is you start streaming builds and then people start sending you stuff. <laughs> yeah, so again, I don't really know much about this board. I'd say just keep an eye out. Maybe when I do find out more, I can let you guys know. All right, let's weigh this thing. Okay, so two two six eight grams, which would be. Wait, are you for real? Five pounds exactly. Holy shit, that's amazing! Look at that, eighty ounces. It's literally just five pounds. Oh, maybe I lied. Maybe it's a little over. God damn it! What happened? Oh. See, look at that. Test dummy 99, welcome to the stream. Oh yeah, that private 75% group buy, oh yes. <laughs> look at fucking Zambumon. The fucking bot. White Ren is here too, hey. But yeah, so this has been the the first sighting of Type Machina in the wild. And hopefully we can see more. I I want to give a shout out to Sheraton, Sherry at Originative. It's kind of confusing, isn't it? Because KBD fans, Sherry, and then... Sheraton and Originative also kind of goes by Sherry. Anyway, so 
yeah, I really appreciate it. He was very generous. He sent it to me. He just said, just show it to your viewers. And he didn't say anything. He didn't even say, you know, like, oh, tell them about Time Mac, you know. You know, he's just like, just, oh, by the way, I have this thing. I'm going to send it your way and you can show it off. And that, that was a while back. So it finally arrived. And that's why I was kind of confused about the whole thing. And even when I opened it, right, it looked so different from a normal Jane that I still wasn't sure what it was. I'm pretty sure I don't get to keep it. I'm pretty sure I'm, I'm gonna be building this. Actually, yeah, I'm quite sure I will be building this. I don't know when, but I'm gonna assume that's what's gonna happen. Hey, NZ Howard, what's up? Welcome to the stream today. All right, yeah, so. Again, I, I, I really appreciate share originators generosity, type machinus generosity. And I hope we get to see more and we get to hear we hope we get to hear more about it. Again, I don't really know. But if you guys keep an eye out on this channel and on the Discord, maybe we can find out more over the next few days or weeks. Love everything except for ISO. Ooh, watch out. Watch out. Watch what you say. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? I really hate soldering this section. This this part. Oh, I hate it. I hate it so much. But yeah, so that's been the stream for today. I know some of you probably have a lot of questions. You can put them down on maybe on YouTube, if this shows up on YouTube, all right, so. That's basically it. Uh, this Friday, what's gonna happen is the LZCLSM build with lubed modem switches and SA Oblivion. And next week, there will be a, a big stream. Not this one, but a big stream for sure and so i don't know when it is exactly yet we'll find out probably friday but we'll see yeah thanks for showing up everybody i really appreciate it i hope you guys have a great rest of the week and i will see you all on friday okay so good night one in a milli olivia feel good music devness hey devness has been here the whole time 60 life daywing dick chokan NGB Yep, yep, have a good night Chewy as well, yeah And of course, good morning to you, Zambuman, our, our European friends Good night, Nancy Howard